Today we'll look at the functions and display of the control on your boiler. The first button we'll address is the power reset button. This is the only button that serves a dual purpose. If you press and hold it down for two seconds, it will power off the unit. The screen will flash and only the power icon will be on the display. Holding the button down again for two seconds will power the unit back on. This button is also used to reset error codes. With an error code on a display, a short press and release will reset the error code. The IP button will give you information on the boiler including supply and return temperatures, domestic and central heat set points, fan speeds, outdoor temperature sensor readings, and a variety of other helpful information. To adjust your domestic hot water temperature, use the plus and minus buttons with the faucet icon on them. The default temperature is set to 120 degrees. To adjust your central heating supply temperature, use the plus and minus buttons with the radiator icon on them. The default max temperature for your heating loop is 176 degrees. This cannot be increased. You can decrease it to the temperature you need for the heating elements in your home. For example, if you have an air handler, you can turn it down to 140 degrees, or if you're using radiant floor heat, you can lower it to 120 degrees. The center button is what we call the summer winter mode, or the boiler operating mode button. If the button is pressed with the faucet and radiator icon lit on the display, the radiator icon will disappear. The unit is now in summer mode and will not allow a call for central heat. Pushing the button again, the faucet icon will disappear and the radiator icon will be displayed. In this mode, the unit will only call for heat. Press the button again and both icons will appear on the display again for normal operating mode. In the instance where a customer may have inadvertently changed this setting and is no longer getting either heat or domestic hot water, check to see what mode the boiler is in. Now we will look at the display itself. If there is an ignition fault, this icon will flash. A boiler fault requiring service will flash the wrench icon. If the boiler water pressure drops below 7.25 PSI, this icon will flash. The R icon is for a manually resettable fault. E is for a fault in progress. I is for the information menu. P is the programming or parameter menu. The right side of the screen will display Fahrenheit and PSI, the default units out of the box, or Celsius in bars. If the flame icon is on, the burner is lit. If the faucet icon is flashing, there is a call for domestic hot water. And if the radiator icon is flashing, there is a call for central heat. The last icon is the power indicator. If the boiler is off, only this icon will be displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. If you have any other questions, please refer to your installation and operation manual that comes in the box.